I'm gladly going to present to you some of the key points of the post-transplant cyclophosphamide, abatacep, and a short course of tacrolimus uh, protocol that we call CAST for graft versus host disease prevention following haploidentical stem cell transplantation. So um, the use of haploidentical stem cell transplant has been increasing uh, in the recent years, and this is of particularly important um, um, status on the uh, patients of minority groups that are currently underrepresented in the donor registries. So finding a match for those patients has been difficult. So uh, this is where uh, the uh, platforms of post-transplant site has been very useful. And uh, this is exactly the reason why we, uh, we, we have uh, uh, performed this trial. So uh, a Batacep impairs T-cell co-stimulation and it's uh, in recent uh, um, trials using it with uh, metrotexate and tacrolimus has decreased the incidence of acute GBHD. Post-transplant site on the other side seems to be especially beneficial in chronic GVHD. So we saw to combine those two uh, uh, because of their uh, GVHD prevention uh, capacities in acute and chronic in combination with a short uh, tacrolimus course out of up, up to 90 days. Uh, and we presented the data on this. As you said, this is a phase one, two uh, single center study. And um, so far, uh, we have a very good data about it. So um, the post transplant site that we used was regular post transplant site and day plus three, day plus four. The trichloramus uh, was given up to day 60, and day 60, we had uh, uh, taper up to day uh, plus 90. And the abatacep, we give it a day five. 14 and 28th, and for the last uh, 18 patients, they, we added an extra day of, of um, about a safe, uh, day plus 56. Um, the primary endpoint was the incidence of uh, acute uh, grade two to four uh, GVHD. Um, and in terms of those outcomes, um, all of the patients engrafted the median uh, uh, ANC neutrophil time to engraftment was 18 days. And one of the patients died before engrafting of, of platelets, but the remaining had a median uh, of 30 days uh, of platelet engraftment. The uh, patients achieved uh, donor chimerism, uh, not more than 97% of them at day 48. And the primary endpoint, which was the uh, incidence of acute GVHD at day 120, was uh, grade two to four, 17.4 percent, and three to four was uh, occur only in two, pa two patients, which is 4.4 percent. Uh, but none of the patients actually develop grade four acute GVHD, and uh, it was of particular uh, interesting that none of the patients that received the four dose of, of post transplant cyclo uh, the of abatacep uh, develop. Um, uh, grade three to four acute GVHD. Uh, the median onset of the acute GVHD was 90 days. And the uh, incidence of chronic GVHD, uh, moderate to severe, was 13.5%. Uh, we had no cases of a steroid refractory acute GVHD, and we were successful at tapering tacrolimus of day plus 90. Uh, in the majority, about nine patients, two of those due to deviations in the study. Uh, in terms of disease relapse and overall survival, so the one-year cumulative incidence of relapse was 11.7%, uh, and uh, the one-year estimate of relapse-free survival, overall survival, and um, graft versus host disease relapse-free survival was 85%, 89%, and 68.8% respectively. Uh, Toxicity-wise, uh, we saw some CMV reactivation was in 41.3% of the patients, and uh, we saw two cases of EVV reactivation, one of them needing uh, rituximab uh, treatment. We saw one case of thrombotic microangiopathy, um, and we saw two cases of uh, SOS. All the patients recovered. Um, and, um, that was pretty much it. In terms of reconstitution uh, studies, uh, it was uh, comparable to studies using post-transplant site, tacrolimus and MMF. Um, and therefore, we concluded the CASP seems as a safe and effective regimen 
for the prevention of uh, graft-versus-host disease following haploidentical transplantation.